Hi guys, now somebody just asked um, how much it would cost for three weeks in the Philippines vacation. Uh, you can't really just say uh, it's blah. You really got to look at how you're going to uh, live in that three week period. So uh, I'll give you three scenarios here. The cheapest one is backpacking. So um, backpacking is about 350 uh, a night in the Philippines, in most um, places in the Philippines, which is uh, seven bucks American, so uh, over three weeks you're looking at 150 bucks or so. Um, and if you go to um, the markets or live on street food, you could live easily on 500 bucks uh, in that period of time, that three week period. So you're looking at 650 to say 700, chuck in a bit of beer and that, maybe 800 bucks. Uh, for a three week period if you uh, decided to go like that you know uh, the second option is a two star option uh, this place I've stayed in uh, many times Duck in Manila it's in Malati uh, this is the uh, front bar here very friendly very upbeat and um, lots of uh, Americans lots of Canadians lots of uh, British people lots of um, Germans lots lots of Australians uh, the bar is run uh, by an Australian and um, it's a great spot and it's pretty cheap. It's only um, 1,400 pesos a night. So um, I'll just show you some features here. Uh, there's four large screen TVs and they got all the major sports, you know, basketball, uh, football, soccer, rugby um you got uh, ice cold beer which goes without saying uh, live music uh, tuesday thursday and saturday night they bring in a band uh, two large billiard tables the staff are fantastic very very friendly uh, they're not hookers the staff they all wear mini skirts and that they're all beautiful it's usually about four or five um uh, ladies walking around the place, you know, but uh, they uh, are not hookers. They're just uh, very, very friendly, lovely ladies. Uh, some of them are single. I think some have uh, boyfriends, but uh, yeah, so it's a great, great two-star uh, option is the um, Duck Inn. Just um, show you the food. Oh, okay, I'll show you the accommodation and the food here. Yeah. There's the uh, uh, room. I've done a couple of videos uh, uh, on my channel uh, showing you the rooms, doing room reviews. But anyway, that's the room. The beds are very comfortable. Uh, you got free Wi-Fi, it works perfectly. You got a safe, you got a fridge, and the fridge is stocked with beer and chocolate and uh, soft drinks. You got a flat screen TV, and you got the a toilet and bathroom in there, in the room, and it's very clean. So what more can you ask for? It's perfect, you know. And you get to meet a lot of people as well. That's the good thing about this place. You meet a lot of people, Filipinos, Filipinas, and um, expats and all that, you know, so it's good. The food is awesome. There's a hamburger there. I've had that many, many times. I love the tuna sandwich. Uh, spaghetti bolognese is fantastic. Um, pizza's there. Uh, chips, you name it. Uh, steaks everything so it's about 250 a meal which is probably uh, about ooh, what's that I don't know six or seven bucks five six seven bucks something like that um, so yeah very very good place two-star option there and uh, yeah so um third option is the diamond hotel down the, down the street there in Malate and uh, with this place here it's about what's the price is there 176 australian which is probably 150 american so if you I'll, okay i'll just give you the price it's uh, about 550 um accommodation for three weeks in the uh, duck inn it's about 27 dollars american a night so you just times that by 21 and uh yeah 21 days so uh, whatever that is you know around the 500 mark i suppose and um this is the um Diamond Hotel here and it's just down the road and this is um, as I said about 150 American and it's very nice but uh, if you stay three weeks in a place like that 150 a night well uh, that's a fair chunk in it well over 3,000 bucks I believe 
So um, yeah, that's very nice. Mm. So uh, anyway, but uh, I personally uh, would rather stay in the Duck Inn where you meet people. I stayed in a, uh, first time I went to the Philippines, I, I stayed in a three-star place and uh, the Tropicana. Never met one person in the two, two and a half weeks I was there. It was uh, shocking. And uh, yeah, and like I said, it was nearly 70 bucks a, a night. So uh, now I pay uh, less than 30 bucks a night and meet lots of people. And uh, that's what it's um, all about when you travel, uh, making friends and all that. So now what about the um, living expenses? Well, I think you can get by, well I do, on about uh, 500 bucks um, a week. So uh, when I'm in the Philippines, so you know, I say usually about uh, 27, 28 days and uh, 2,000 bucks is uh, what I spend usually, you know, so uh, there you have it. So it depends, the question, the, the um, answer is uh, what sort of quality of life uh, or holiday do you want when you're over there? It's as simple as that, you know, if you want to go really uh, cheap, take a, a backpacker's hostel and uh, live on street food and market food. If you want to live okay, uh, you know, pretty well actually, and, and meet a lot of people, take the uh, two two star option. If you want to live like a king and uh, be pampered and all that, uh, take the four star option. Uh, I like Clint Clint Eastwood's statement uh, quote. <laughs> he says, "Being comfortable is overrated." <laughs> so uh, I don't uh, go near the uh, four star hotels. I like uh, two star because uh, when you when you're staying around for a month uh, somewhere, you want you want to be able to uh, do it affordably, especially when you uh, take um, three uh, monthly holidays a year. So uh, if I just lived on a, in a four star place for three weeks, um, I probably couldn't do uh, three uh, a month holidays a year. So anyway, what's your uh, opinion, guys? Can you? What do you do? Do you do the two-star option, the, the um, backpacker option, or the um, four-star option? So let us know. Give this a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, and have a great day, or great night, wherever you are.